So what's up guys, Lazy Neil here and in today's video, I'm going to show you all guys how to restore your epic game library without re-downloading the game files itself. Nowadays, games have become so big in size, it's a pain to download even if you have a fast internet connection as games are just getting bigger and bigger as the days go by. Most AAA games across genres are crossing more than 100 GB. For example, like Cyberpunk 2077, Starfield, Baldur's Gate 3 and so on. And within all this, the Epic Game Store still does not have a good way to restore or back up your already downloaded games so that the same can be used on other systems or even on the same system itself. Now there are some workarounds to this and that's what we are going to be discussing in this video. Now on the other hand, look at Steam. The only thing which you need to do is you just need to show the drive itself with the games are installed and it automatically detects the same, quick and easy. And to be honest with you, Epic Games should seriously take some notes from Steam itself as it's something which everyone would appreciate to be implemented. Now, I personally didn't know about this issue and I recently came across this while I was setting up games while dual booting. So explanation aside, without any further ado, let's get started. First of all, for this, you may require a text editor, now it could be as simple as Notepad or as fancy as VS Code or anything in between like Notepad++. To be honest, the choice is yours. Now, it's not mandatory, but it's required for some of the scenarios which I'll be discussing later. Now, in this video, I'll be discussing two methods and just think of them as scenarios and they are as follows. First one is restoring a single game and second one is restoring the whole library. So let's start off with the first one, restoring a single game. So for this, you will require the game files itself and that's about it. Now this method is in short can be used to restore a single game itself or it can be used to transfer the game files from one drive to the other or even between systems. So, step number one, open up the Epic Game Launcher and go to your desired game. Now, you can use a search feature just to make things easier if you have a bigger library. Now, I'll be discussing three ways of backing up your games. But before that, where are the game files itself in the first place? To locate them, it's very simple. Just go to your desired game on the Epic Game Store, right click on the three dots and click on manage. Next, right click on the folder icon and it will look something like this and at the end of the day, basically it will open up the game folder itself using the explorer and there you go. Now if you don't have the luxury to use this way, you just need to remember where you have installed the game itself. Now a quick tip which could help you out to locate the game itself or the game files in this case is to use a program like everything and search for the name of the game itself. Now it's not a surefire method but it will work in a pinch. Now once you have located your game files itself, now you need to safely store it in a safe place and you can use the following methods to do so. You can make a copy of the games and keep it in a separate folder. You can copy the game files and transfer it to another PC or an external storage. And lastly, you can basically make use of the same folder and just add an underscore to the game folder itself. And to be honest with you, there's no wrong way and the choice is yours at the end of the day. As at the end of the day, it's just about getting or keeping the game files itself safe. For me, I'll be choosing option number one as I've already kept a backup the same. Next, click on install on the desired game. Now make sure that the folder you are using to install the game itself is not the same place where you have saved the backup files. But if you have used the underscore method which I mentioned above, you can ignore this. Now, after like 5 to 10 seconds or when the download reaches 2 to 3%, click on the three dots and click on cancel install. This should make the status set to resume. Now go to the game folder itself and inside it delete the .eg store folder and then copy the backup game files into that folder and finally go to the epic game launcher and basically click on resume. Now you'll notice that it will directly move to install and in some seconds the status will change to launch. If this happens, congratulations, you have successfully restored your game. Now if not, then there are some reasons and one of the reasons could be that the game files which you have backed up is too old and it basically just re-downloads the files again. Okay, now let's move on to scenario number two, restoring the full game library. For this, you will require a little more than the game files itself. Now, this solution is good if you are moving your entire game library from one system to another or in my case, I'm basically using the same game files while dual booting. So other than the game files itself, you will require all the files from the manifest folder itself and a file called launcher install.dat. So the manifest folder is located at C, program data, epic, epic games launcher and data. And the launcher.dat is located at C, program data, epic and unreal engine launcher. Make sure that you make a backup of these files so that we can transfer it to another system or in my case, while dual booting. As mentioned before, once you got all the game files itself, 
the contents from the manifest folder and the launcher install.dat file. Transfer the files to your target system. And as I'm dual booting, I'll be just making a copy of the manifest folder itself and the launcher install.dat as I'll be using the same folder for the game files itself. Next, install the Epic Game Launcher on your target system. If you already have it, make sure to uninstall and reinstall it back again as fresh. And lastly, make sure to exit the Epic Game Launcher itself. Next, go to the path C Program Data Epic Epic Game Launcher Data and make a folder called Manifest if it's already not created and paste the contents of the Manifest backup. Alternately, you can just copy the whole folder itself as it's already named Manifest. Next, go to the path C Program Data Epic Unreal Engine Launcher and replace the launcher install.dat file. And that's about it for me as my paths are identical as I'm basically dual booting in my case. But as I mentioned before, this method can be used to transfer games from one system to another. So in that case, the paths, at least the drive names itself, will most likely change. And so this needs to be changed to make sure that the games get detected properly. So to fix this, there are some more additional steps. First of all, go to your C, Program Data, Epic, Epic Games Launcher, Data and the Manifest folder itself and edit each of the item files and make sure that the path is proper. To make sure that it's proper, you need to change the manifest location, install location, and the staging location attributes. So for this, you can use any code editor or any text editor like Notepad or VS Code, which I mentioned before. And finally, go to the launcher install.dat, which is located at C, Program Data, Epic, Unreal Engine Launcher, and change the install location for each game so that it detects the new paths properly. And that's about it. Now you can go ahead and launch your install game and congratulations, you have successfully restored your epic game library. So hopefully this helps you a lot guys resolving such a stupid issue. The reason why I'm saying it's stupid is because as I mentioned before, Steam already has such a good UX for this and I'm really not sure why Epic Games is taking its sweet time to fix such a broken UX issue. Anyway, rants aside, this wraps it up guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.